Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here, back with another episode, and the beginning of the month means another episode of Best Tech Under. This one is under $20 to save you guys a bit of money in your pocket, because we could definitely do some saving after Halloween. Ate a lot of candy, or maybe spent a lot of it, too. But of course, we do have a winner from the last episode of Best Tech Under, I think it was $25. I recorded that one in LA. The winner will get an item straight from Amazon as I did a bit of an online session there. And that person is... Congrats to Austin M. I will be shipping that item out hopefully right after I'm done this episode. And don't worry, a bit backlogged, trying to keep up. Just pumping out these videos is hard work. And if you're interested in winning a random item from today, just let me know which one your favorite one was down below in the comments. And make sure you check out that link, and I will be drawing a winner on my next month's episode of Best Tech Under 2025, around there. And our very first item was actually recommended by someone down below in the comments asked me to check these out. These were 18 bucks. These are the G2000 gaming headsets. And honestly, I think for that price alone, you should grab these things. So over on my Mac, I know it's not the perfect gaming setup, it's not a Master Race PC build, but I do play a bit of StarCraft 2, a bit of Overwatch, and using these things, as I'm gonna say, for $18, this is so much better than anything built in. The ear cups are super comfy, they're articulating, they fit your head, they've got a built-in microphone. It even comes with a little control dongle, a braided cable so it doesn't get tangled. I'm not too sure what else you can ask for for this kind of money. For 18 bucks, there isn't too much more that you can get for this kind of money. If you're looking for a pair of cheap-ish budget-friendly headphones slash gaming headsets, the G2000's gotta be it. And the second piece of tech on today's episode happens to be another gaming accessory. This one is 15 bucks. So if you combine these, you've got a pretty solid gaming setup for under $40. This is the V40 Meteor Leopard gaming mouse. And once again, very budget friendly, very entry level. But for 15 bucks, when you compare this to a stock mouse, this thing is way better. It's got a 4000 DPI sensor, 500 hertz, two millisecond response time. And for your average first person shooter, if you're a casual gamer like myself, this is more than enough. And I'm not a pro. Or at least, I'd like to be, but maybe not. Switching on over to our third item on the list today, it is iPhone related. And for any of you that are looking for an interesting cable, I actually might make a separate video on this guy. This is called the Magbolt, and it's essentially a magnetic lightning cable, I guess for all things Apple related, that can use a lightning port. So this little piece here actually will live inside of your iPhone at all times. It doesn't add too much extra bulk. And when you bring the other end of the magnetic cable over, it snaps into place and starts charging simply to disconnect, just add a bit of pressure. Reminds me of the MacBook charger. Seems to work. So this kind of cable is super useful if you're a bit accident prone. Like myself, when I'm in bed, I always have the cable, always yank it out accidentally. I've lost a few cables in that process, rest in peace. This might solve all of your solutions. They have a Kickstarter campaign, which I will be linking in the description. Make sure you check them out. I think this is an awesome little piece of tech and I think it's around 10 bucks for just one cable. Keeping on the iPhone theme for item number four, this is from a company called Tuck or Tuke, however you pronounce that. This is a premium brown leather case and I've always wanted a flip out case that not only holds my iPhone, but is a place for my credit cards, ID, and useful cards right on the side here. It's got a very nice soft touch leather feel. It comes in a ton of different colors and of course for a ton of different devices. I will keep you guys updated over on social how this leather wears over time. I'm hoping it gets nice and pretty, like the traditional Apple case, except this one doesn't cost 50 to 60 bucks. Saving you guys money. And our very last item on today's episode for 15 bucks is from a company called Blitzwolf. And for most of the portable power banks that I look at, they're usually pretty large, they might not fit into one pocket. This guy could be that solution, super thin, super portable. Even if you have the skinniest of jeans, you can carry this thing. I guess 
If they're super tight, you might have this small little bulge, so maybe that's not the best idea. Regardless, this is a 3350 milliamp hour power bank. It's got a USB port and a micro USB port on one end, completely blank all the way around, a button up top to show you how much charge you've got, four little indicator LED lights, and for any of you that might still play Pokemon Go, scratch that thought, I don't think too many people play that anymore. I will sell this one by saying if you have a black iPhone, iPhone 7 Plus or even a 7, this is the perfect colorway match, 15 bucks. I am saving you guys so much money in your pocket. Someone buy me an ice cream, please. That will wrap up another solid episode of Best Tech Under 20. Today we checked out a variety of different items that we usually don't see, so make sure you smash that like button as it helps me out a ton. Check out that link in the description box to win a random item from today, and I will catch the rest of you in either one of my next episodes or in one of my vlogs. Peace.